some more news from your part of the region. And two brothers who appealed against their sentences for manslaughter of a banker in Norwich had their jail terms upheld today. Ben and Tom Cowles from Cossie near Norwich were sent to prison after admitting killing Frank McGarrahan from Much Haddam near Bishop Stortford. Lorna Ramsey has this report. Their sentences were described as disgracefully low by the family of the man they killed. But Tom and Ben Cowles wanted their seven and seven and a half year sentences reduced. At the beginning of this month, the brothers' family were in court to hear their appeal. But the decision was adjourned until today. The brothers' legal team argued their sentences were manifestly excessive. But the Court of Appeal judges disagreed and said their sentences reflect the overall criminality of the case and should stay as they are. Well, of course, the Court of Appeal could have increased the sentences and they've chosen not to do so. And I, I'm, on a personal level, it would have been nice to see these sentences reduced because I looked after these two brothers who pleaded guilty to what they'd done and they admitted what they'd done right from the earliest of opportunities. Tom and Ben Cowles were sent to prison in June after admitting the manslaughter of Frank McGarrahan. Mr McGarrahan was waiting for a taxi with his brother and cousin in the Guildhall Hill area of Norwich when they went to help a Lithuanian man who'd come under attack from a group of youths. The Court of Appeal judges described their intervention as courageous, but it cost Mr McGarrahan his life. He was punched repeatedly and died later in hospital. Today's hearing is designed to give other judges guidance when sentencing similar offenders and the Crown Prosecution Service has welcomed the outcome. It just hopes it reassures Mr McGarrahan's family that this case has now been concluded. Lorna Ramsey, Anglia News. The government's scheme for people to dial 111 for non-emergency health care is to be trialled in the east of England. The free number will be used for accessing help 24 hours a day, seven days a week, for situations that do not require 999 services. These might include finding a doctor or dentist out of hours, help with locating a new dentist, or asking for advice currently provided by NHS Direct. The 111 service will be piloted in the North East, the East of England and the East Midlands from next year. A family from Stowmarket faced a difficult Christmas after their house caught fire early this morning. The couple and their four children living in the terraced home in Cherry Tree Road all escaped unhurt when the fire broke out on the first floor. The building was badly affected by smoke and the family now say they'll have to spend Christmas with friends. Football now and our league clubs are due to play their final game before Christmas tomorrow. But will they be affected by all of this weather we're having? Donovan Blake has our Friday preview. Yes, this is the stuff most of our sportsmen and women and fans will be concerned about over the course of the weekend. And with temperatures expected to plummet overnight, frost will play a part as well. So how many of our league games will survive or fall because of the winter weather? It's just as well that Ipswich aren't playing at home tomorrow, judging by conditions at Portman Road this morning. The weather forced manager Roy Keane to delay his pre-match media briefing until lunchtime. He'll be hoping his team's trip to Scunthorpe isn't a wasted one, although the pitch at Glanford Park is covered. As far as I'm aware, the game has gone ahead, and that's our mentality. As I said, we've, tr we've trained well. We were indoor this morning, obviously, with the, the conditions, and uh, we're travelling up, getting ready for a game of football and making sure we're focused, and, and we will be. The covers are on at Peterborough too, so hopefully their players will be in action tomorrow against Crisis Club Watford. Little to worry about for Paul Lambert at Norwich. Their home game with Huddersfield in League One should be OK, with Undersaw heating at Carrow Road. And it should be quite a contest. We are playing very well at the minute, and if we keep going the way we're going, hopefully we'll win it. But I know it's Huddersfield are going, going well themselves, but that's not to uh, detract from what we're, what we're doing ourselves. Colchester United certainly knew the white stuff was coming yesterday and the deluge overnight means their game with Carlisle is off. For Southend's players, overnight frost is the big risk to their fixture at Exeter, but as things stand, that game is still on. Donovan Blake, Anglian News. Three friends from Norfolk who couldn't bear to say goodbye to a pair of reindeer they'd cared for since birth have begun a hectic festive schedule to help pay for the animal's upkeep. 
The reindeer have been visiting schools, fairs and care homes, getting people in the festive mood, as well as making enough money to pay for their annual upkeep. They were supposed to be sold by an animal park, but were kept after their carers raised enough money to buy them. And um, basically borrowed money from parents and just begged for it until we clubbed it all together and had enough for them. <laughs> We'd seen them born on the park, so we'd been looking after them for a year and a half and just got a bit attached to them, really. How could you not be there? We didn't get them here, did we? That no, nice. we'd love to have seen treat. those. Now, drinkers cost one hospital in Norfolk more than £40,000 over last year's festive period. That's according to new figures just out. 258 patients were treated at the Norfolk and Norwich University Hospital for alcohol-related injuries. The hospital said 68 people attended the department on New Year's Day alone. The alcohol-related problems included assaults and associated injuries, collapsed patients, overdose patients, alcoholics taken ill, road traffic collisions and injuries from falls. Next tonight, the British service men and women from this region who are serving in Afghanistan right now, hard on their families at any time, but especially so at this festive time of year. Well, between now and Christmas, a special series called Far From Home is running across ITV1. We're linking up with British troops in Afghanistan and their families back home on this morning. GM